Hi, I'm Shaking Gaming. In this video, I want to give you some guidance on what to buy in the rune shop because you can use a lot of gold in here and buy crappy runes or you can buy very good runes. First up, there's this Tenacity rune, which will cost you 360k gold. And there's a blue four dot room that will cost you 1.2 million. That's a huge gap between those two. So you really want to make sure that when you use 1.2 million that those money are put into good use. Generally, don't buy grey runes, but the exception might be this one because it's a damage dealing and it will get 23 speed for only 360k gold. Uh, even though you don't know what the other stats are going to be, you know that the primary you want is crit chance based rune, and you know that you're going to get 23 speed. So if you need this particular rune uh, in, for one of your characters, it might be a good buy, even though it's only 360k gold and gray, because it will cost you a lot less. So I just bought that one uh, on the purple four dot runes, which is the highest you can buy. You know three stats already, along with the primary stat, and you can roll uh, four times. So you can potentially roll three times of the same stat and thus creating a very, very strong rune. But to do this, you need to have the right stats at the right levels before buying it. Generally, you want speed on more or less every room, except for the tanks. Most of them you don't want speed on at all. There are exceptions like Little Baddy, but these stats on a damage room doesn't make any sense. Uh, so this is a no buy as well. This one, on the other hand, it's a speed room, and what you want on speed rooms is speed. This one got plus one, but it'll end on plus 28 when finished. So it could be used for several characters, not a damage dealer, but someone you just want fast. Um, could be some Terra, for example. It's got some tankiness over it, so if you won't die. And her benefit on some uh, teams are more to reduce uh, the cooldown of other characters' uh, abilities, and, and this is perfect for it. I will level up some runes, so you can see what happens with them. First up, the one I bought in the rune shop. There are no secondary roles. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll start with the gold. Uh, it costs around 100k to upgrade the 360k uh, buy in the shop, so you end a bit over 460k for the total uh, room before it's ready to use. Taking this uh, in comparison with um, Finder 4, with a 4 dot room that costs 200k, so if you bought this room for one 0.2 million, it will cost you 1.4 million to get it ready up and running. And that is something to consider before buying anything. Because 4 dot rooms are 100k more expensive to upgrade as well. But back to the room I bought in the shop, you saw. It can turn out very good for a rather cheap amount of gold, uh, 23 speed is guaranteed and then it's just to hope that the other stats are, are good, you can't know, and there's no reason to roll it once, one at a time, uh, not the best stats, you got damage, but apart from that you don't, there's, there's nothing else uh, useful on a crit change room, but if you need the 23 speed, on an northeastern rune in a crit set, go for it. Because it's first, I want to show some runes that are worth buying. This is not the best rune, but it's a damage rune, 
uh, with crit damage, speed, and a flat damage on top. It's not the best speed roll, but uh, it's cheaper than buying the purple ones. Getting uh, it up to uh, rank 8 to see what the other stats are first, and it rolled crit chance. Shield isn't desirable, but can't get it all at once, but still it has potential to be very good, preferably speed, damage, or quick chance now. And uh, that wasn't good, but let's just get it up. Plus six speed. It's not too bad for the amount it costs to buy a three dot blue. I think that's around 500k. Another decent cheap buy could be this one. Southern Rune of Health with crit damage and plus 4 speed. But uh, what to remember doing this one is that you only get one chance at getting uh, a speed roll more. So it's not very likely that you get more than the 4 speed you start on. You get the critical damage that of course is set, but the other stats are unknown. Let's take it up and see if we get more speed on it. No, nope. more shield. So it turned out to be a, a not so good buy, but this was a gamble one. It could be good. Here's another gamble. It's a speed rune. You want speed secondary on all speed runes, uh, except the northeastern one where you want primary speed. But if you buy any speed rune, you want speed on it. If it doesn't have speed, don't buy it. This one is cheap, but you only get one chance at rolling speed again, as before. So it's not great, but it's a lot cheaper than buying the purple one. Now we want speed on the last, and we did. It turned out to be a very good gamble, actually. I was lucky, but it turned out as, um, as you want a speed rune on characters that needs to go fast. It's not too bad. Here's another one that could turn out very good. It's got a max speed roll and uh, on a potence potency rune. So we want more speed or preferably potency as well uh, to be used on uh, either a debuffer or a turn meter removal character. That's what you want on potency runes. You can't get anything else than health on this, so uh, as primary. So and damage is decent as well if if it's a damage dealer that take it. Not useful on foul, uh, sorry, baddy or or duo, but wow, potency. This is not too bad. Now we just need more potency. Uh, on the potency room or speed and it will be a very good one. Let's see No Come on Potency again, this is this is a very good room Okay, the speed isn't great, but then you got 3% potency on a rune on top of it This is very useful very usable. I mean Here's another example of a 5 speed speed room, which is the ultimate goal. Giving it up once, ooh, twice. Uh, it has potential, but the shield wasn't optimal. Um, maybe I can use the 8 speed on something. It's not bad getting a speed room with 8 speed but the total isn't great. Here's a decent tank rune for Trumgar, for example, that you want potency on to be able to stun, but you don't want uh, speed on the uh, armor rune, but uh, it could turn out good, but it's a bit of a gamble because you don't really want the speed. You want armor, you want shield, you want potency and avoiding the, the speed roll here. Let's take it all the way up. And it turned out well. There's flat armor, there's armor percentage, there's potency. 
This is not a bad room for Trumgar. It's got everything in a package on an armor room, so decent. Now here is a room that you don't want to buy. It's a southeastern room of damage. Armor is unavoidable, but it has one speed and potency and armor on a damage room. It's not a good buy. Yes, you have the speed and you have the hope that it will roll speed, but why use gold uh, on a plus one speed when you can wait and save your gold for something better? Let's take it all the way up. Yay, it got another speed roll of two. So you ended up with three, three speed, which is a normal roll on any rune. Um, don't buy this when you can when you can start off with five speed on a purple rune and see useful stats. Don't just buy a speed with plus one. Here's another example of something to avoid completely. It's a speed room. It doesn't have speed. Yes, you can be lucky getting speed on the last one, but we didn't. And what can we use this for? Nothing really, because the whole purpose of having a speed room is to go fast and without speed uh, on a secondary. It's no good. I'm not even going to bother to level this up. Even on the test account, it's that bad. Here's another room that you want to avoid. It's crit chance with damage as primary, which is good. But the other stats, apart from damage as primary, is health, health and tenacity. That's really not something you want on a, on a crit chance rune. So don't, don't waste your gold on this. Make calculated risks on what to upgrade and and make the right choices. Don't just spend gold on um, on anything. Okay, it did roll speed, but that was lucky. Now you're sitting there, there hoping it will get max speed roll. It did get another one of plus four. So actually it turned out to be a decent room. It's not a fantastic room because the other stats are just garbage. Uh, when we could have had critical hit chance or damage and critical hit chance on the primary stat. But this was lucky. This was a slot machine win. Lastly, I want to see if I can create the ultimate runes from good buys in the shop. This one doesn't have speed, but look at it. It's an armor rune. It has tenacity, health and health. This is all in all just a very very strong tank room it has the whole package now we just want shield or something else as the last part or armor and wow now this is a good room it doesn't matter whatever it rolls now everything is good and that's what you want to buy this is a very very good buy for any tank in the game and four flat health rolls it's got a massive amount of armor and health and then some tenacity on top to avoid being uh, debuffed or getting uh, torn stripped this is an amazing rune and you should buy stuff like this with your gold and now to try and create the very best debuff damage dealing rune. This one has everything. It's got a max speed roll. It has potency on a potency rune and crit chance and damage as primary. This can potentially turn out to be a very, very good rune for guys like Venomate or Varun. Characters like that that both do debuffs and want to go fast. Ah, but shield that was unlucky. Oh. Well, this one had potential, but didn't turn out as good as it could have because two shield ro rolls. Yes, it does have three critical hit chance. It's, it's not a bad room, but 
This one really had potential to be just as good as the tank room, but it failed. And finding this one in the shop alone costed me, I don't know, four or five thousand uh, direct coins. Luckily I'm on the test server, so to sum it all up, make sure you spend your gold wisely in the game. The rune shop is a great addition to the game and it lets you get the runes you need for the sets and the characters that you need. But make sure that you find stuff like this one before you buy it. It doesn't have to be exactly as good and you don't have to be as lucky as this one. It will still turn out good. Just make sure that you calculate the, the potential of the rune and don't make low chances of getting of thinking this could potentially turn out good if I'm lucky. Take the good stats and buy those with the good stats to optimize your chances of getting the good runes. Don't waste all your gold on bad runes. That's it for now. Subscribe if you haven't. Have a great day.